Hey there, what's up guys, this is Gupta Mac and we are watching Crypto Quick CDX. Hope you guys are doing great today. Before going to this video, please like this video and also subscribe this channel in order to support this channel. So today we are going to see an important news about a coin. That is, we are going to discuss about one cryptocurrency and huge project actually. And we are going to discuss about that one which has huge partnership and uh, they are going the, now the public sale is going on and, and what they are doing, what they are doing in terms of... Uh, uh, banks and enterprise uh, adoption it's huge guys we are going to discuss that one so before going to this video we will be analyzing the market we are going to do market analysis in coin gecko then we will be seeing that particular project so let's jump into this video First of all, we can start with the market analysis in CoinGecko. Uh, we can do the past 24 hours performance of the top 10 coins. First, we have Bitcoin for 1.1% up, staying below $1,000 and staying above $10,500. We have been discussing about this price and technical analysis in the previous uh, videos. Now, let's see the, the market analysis. So, it's 1.1% up, Ethereum is 5.1% up, and we have XRP 4.7% up. Polkadot 3.7% up, Bitcoin Cash 1.5% up, Chainlink 2.4% up, Binance Coin 3.5% up, and we have CRO Crypto.com Coin minus 0.7%, uh, which is a downside. And Litecoin is 1.2% up. So these are the past 24 hours top 10 coins performance. Let's see the past 24 hours gainers. If you see the gainers, if you see the gainers, we have Synthetix Network token that is 15.6% up. We have been discussing about this Synthetix Network in the previous videos about uh, the true potential DeFi. We have been discussing about Synthetix Network, Kyber Network and Aave that is a true DeFi potential coins which has been forgotten due to these ill farming things. I, I have attached that video in this description so you can have a check on it and we have discussed about that one so now we can see the synthetic network is 15.6 percent up digibyte 14.1 percent up block stack 11.2 percent up ocean protocol 9.2 percent up waves 7.6 percent kusama 7.5 percent up nexus mutual 6.4 percent up zilika 6 percent up so are we 5.2 percent up we have been discussing this also so in terms of gainers uh, we have uh, only 15.6 is the top gain and not that much like 40 or 50 percent so it's quite a quite bullish uh, market now and let's see the top losers in terms of losers we have third chain it's uh, losing a lot during the past 27 days and it's also past 24 hours it's minus 12.5 shushi minus 12.1 percent down terras minus 6.9 percent down uma minus 6.3 percent down energy web token that is minus 5.9 percent down and we have ontology ont that is minus 5.5 percent down but in terms of sound days it is 18.5 percent up so golem that is gnt is a minus 3.7 percent down so most of them are red and you can see some of them are uh, dropping heavily and some of them are in a consolidation phase so that's all uh, for this market analysis and today we are going to see an potential project that we are going to discuss is cypherium so this is a major thing cypherium we are Cypherium, that is enterprise ready blockchain. So what they are delivering, let's see what they are delivering and what they are providing in terms of services and in terms of solutions, what they are providing, you can see now. So addressing the key shortcomings of existing block, public blockchain infrastructure and enabling interoperability in every corner of the ecosystem. So it is interoperable, that is huge. Actually, Cypherium is a separate blockchain and you can see it's an interoperable there so nowadays interoperability is a major concern in all the ecosystem and all the blockchain interoperability is very much needed in order to exchange the useful data uh, but in terms of this Ethereum is an inter interoperability and it is not a new project it is actually uh, started in 2017 so it is not a new project it's an uh, already developed project now they are going to launch the mainnet and they are going to uh, release this um, tokens cypherium tokens so let's see how can how we can buy the cypherium tokens uh, later first let's see what is cypherium so cypherium what they are providing is instant ledger to process real-time transaction for billions of users so real-time transactions uh, it will be huge 
uh, in terms of uh, the faster how the transaction how the fast the transaction will be next we have a smart contract platform to enable enterprise use cases for all industries so it's a smart contract platform and where you can have different projects and that enable enterprises use cases so they are covering overall then overall enterprises not to provide different different use cases and trusted database to connect cbdc so it's huge guys digital assets and d apps around the world this is important so the database is a trusted database so it's the data will be secure and they are connecting the major thing is cbdc that is central bank digital currencies though so cbdc is a major uh, market now is the uh, world's uh, banking market and now they are connecting cbdc's digital assets d apps d apps around the world open network to enfranchise any participant or contributor so they are having an open network to enfranchise any participant or contributor a secure vault to combat the increasing threats to data privacy so they are also providing data privacy and there will be secure vault so the data privacy is very much important in this uh, ecosystem so they are having this one and by providing a truly decentralized scalable framework so this is ethereum is scalable and it's truly decentralized combined with an accessible intuitive user interface Cypherium lays comprehensive foundation for developers to create groundbreaking apps capable of transforming the future of business law and enterprise solution this is important guys so we know Cypherium is a smart contract platform similar to Ethereum and Polkadot out there so Cypherium is also a smart contract platform and um, we can build the apps and everything over this so what they're giving us transforming the future of business law and enterprise solution they are providing comprehensive foundation and using hybrid consensus mechanism using hybrid consensus mechanism that utilizes and it's it, actually it is a hybrid consensus mechanism that utilizes both proof of work so it replaces both proof of work and hot stuff so our blockchain is designed to achieve commercialization viability by maximizing both decentralization and scalability without sacrificing one for other so without um, sacrificing the decentralization they are achieving scalability that is more important so that is the blockchain is able to achieve uh, commercialization they are going to uh, they are mainly focusing on enterprise and they are mainly focusing on uh, enterprise adoptions and cbdc central bank digital currencies and because of these uh, things what they are doing is uh, they are maximizing both actually they are maximizing decentralization and scalability unlike many second and third generation blockchains that abandon satoshi nakamoto's original permissionless trustless consensus mechanism cypherium is built on valuable innovation of previous uh, blockchains so most of the uh, second and third generation blockchains are mainly uh, blockchains that abandon satoshi nakamoto's original permissionless and trustless consensus mechanism we have second and third generation blockchains but that is not mainly adopting satoshi nakamoto's original that is permissionless trustless consensus mechanism we have different consensus mechanism but cypherium is built on that uh, based on satoshi nakamoto's mechanism and they have uh, they have did some little changes over that and they are having a hybrid mechanism let's see that one and this is about the intro this is about the what is cypherium what they are delivering yeah. so this video i will attach at the last of uh, of this video i will attach this video as the last you can have a look on it how they are advertising this how they are promoting the product and how, what they are delivering you can just have a look on it this will be useful and if you want the white paper you can read the white paper here also and you can see here we are engaging with world leaders of financial industries although covid 19 has stagnated has stagnated much of the world's economic activity of course and for uh, professional engagement we have taken proactive measures to prepare cbdc revolution okay and currently we are adv advising a series of virtual discussion for the future of money with the world's leading central banks bridging gap between cfi and defi so what they are doing is they are bridging between decentralized finance and centralized finance so centralized finance we have banks that is uh, all central banks we have and because of that and we know that they are preparing for cbdc that is central bank digital currencies so they are uh, giving a solution to uh, in order to bridge cfi and defi and he is the ceo of this uh, cypherium he's the ceo and he was uh, talking about uh, he's giving an interview in nasdaq shows and you can see here uh, they have panel discussion with bank of england swiss national bank so they are more into uh, they are uh, also covering different things like iot also there but they are also focusing on this central banks and they are regarding central bank digital currencies so cbdc update you can see the new trillion dollar market opportunity yeah it's a new trillion dollar opportunity approximately 37 trillion usd in circulation around the world this is the market of usd and in next few years we will believe that all the paper fit currencies will be digitized cypherium is integrating its solution to the newly realized cbdc financial system and will capitalize 
in the multi trillion dollar market opportunity so we know that is actually it's a 37 trillion dollar market and it's a an usd market so they are going to bridge both cfi and defi and tools they are providing is cypherlink cypherlink that is notary scheme cross ledger framework so cross ledger framework and cypherim net connect third party plugin module for banking system they are providing solution for banking system and cypherim validator will be the verification machine that is the it will verify the transactions so we can discuss about this in another uh article that what they are doing in terms of banking and cypherium id that is decentralized id authentication system so this is um, they are doing in terms of um, hr service that is a decentralized identity hr system they are providing in company in partnership with google cloud and and this one that is ranstad and we can see the partnership later and the features they are providing is 24/7 365 available real time intermediary to replace the efficient sorry inefficient legacy interbank communication system to connect digital assets all around the world so you can see 24/7 365 day services available and they are they are uh, what they are uh, doing is they are eliminating the inefficient legacy interbank interbank communication so they are making the interbank communication uh, highly efficient and they are you can see iso to 2022 compliant and can seamlessly embedded with the current financial system third party plugin module for banking system so iso standard compliant and they can be easily embedded with the current financial system now out there so they are almost ready guys they are almost ready and they have different uh, things going on and you can see this still comes in probability framework this is about uh, the interoperability framework that is this dcif digital currency interoperability frame, framework and how they are providing we can have a look on it this is uh, how they are providing cyberlink and uh, about these their products how they are integrating with the central banks and uh, you can see here cyberim has developed digital currency interoperability framework to meet the goals in a way that is compatible with the euro's current target 2 system it is a novel approach that consists of six major bodies that is the main thing first is central bank and then we have cyberlink that is notary mechanism based on the interledge uh, protocol next we have cyberim connect next we have cyberim validator one who uh, validates the transaction and there is a mediation mediation institution and finally the users so this structure maintains the autonomy and integrity of central bank by allowing them not to carry directly to their users or issue or distribute cbdc units not supervise the transfer of cbdc this critically protects the bank and in turn national economies they support so these are the things what they are doing and they are supporting this guys you can see the cypherim is capable of processing upwards of 10000 transaction per second it's huge really huge and let's discuss that one first and you can see the season of killer apps we have already shifted our focus from general consensus to thousand of tps that is blockchain uh, trilemma or sharding uh, to real killer apps which are considered to be the holy grail of blockchains this is the rand start they are having leveraging cypherium's blockchain on uh, blockchain on google cloud new business process world largest hr company rand start is using a combination of cypherium blockchain and google cloud to Google Cloud to corporate there is a match talent to corporate uh, needs more efficiently and free uh, up teams to do more value added works so uh, actually Randstad is a you can see here Randstad is a company what they are doing is they are the human resources company it's a global leader in home human resources with almost 40000 employees so what they are doing is um, they are in combination so Randstad is using combination of Cypherium blockchain and Google Cloud to match talent to corporate needs so they are they will be matching using the blockchain and google cloud what they are doing is um, they are matching the talent and corporate what are the corporate needs and what are the employees talent they are matching these things in terms of jobing job perspective and providing human resources to the uh, companies and why uh, we are cypherium our services is first one they are providing blockchain solutions full stack blockchain integration solution for enterprises from small to large sizes so they are providing full full stack a blockchain integration solution for enterprises cloud consultation comprehensive blockchain saas consultation by our world class expert and software licensing premium support from our team by purchasing the enterprise licenses so want to democratize development of smart contracts and lower to barrier blockchain enterprise okay these are the things and these are the things actually they are providing and if you see uh, about the partnership it will be huge guys this is these are the partnerships So Cypherium is partnered uh, having a partnership with Google Cloud, Microsoft, Chainlink, OMF, IF. This is an you can see financial uh, aid. You can see di- dialogue on f- 
world finance and economic policy they are the independent think tank for central banking economic policies and public investment providing neutral platform for public and private sector engagement wo- worldwide this committee is all about um, uh, finance uh, policy they are providing central banking economic policies so this is a board of uh, regulators and uh, they have partnership with them and shushu and they have partnership with amazon web solution that is aws grandstad grandstad is a hr providing company ibm so if you see uh, the top notable uh, things in this partnership is you can see google cloud is there microsoft is there aws amazon web solution is there ibm is there so these are the main thing and chainlink is there so these are the main partnership they have and it's huge guys it's really huge what they are delivering because these are the leading uh, providers these are the leading uh, companies in the world so we are we are uh, they having partnership with them and in terms of how they work how the how it works actually how uh, the protocol works is how the mechanism works is they are providing this one dual chain structure and hybrid consensus this is a consensus mechanism the process will be mining is a traditional proof of work protocol like bitcoin takes on two related at distinct functions so mining is a traditional proof of work protocol like bitcoin the pro- process is uh, similar to that and first mining involves first mining was electing a leader who is responsible for generating a new host blocks okay and then what will happen is the next second function consisting of verifiable verifying transaction data that existing within the block body so first process is to create a new uh, block that is uh, first process is electing a leader who is responsible for generating a new block after that what will happen is verifying the transaction within the block will be happened so however there is a nothing uh, inherently beneficial about using a single process to complete both of these action so both of these action has to be completed using the single process it will be some it will be having some delay so cyphenium technology separates these two processes into two distinct blockchains so what they are doing is they are doing these two process into a uh, uh two distinct blockchains so that they can do parallel processing so what what they are doing is in order to improve the efficiency of both and election chain choose uh proof of work leaders election chain choose there there are two chains the first chain is election chain what they will do is uh, the election chain chooses the proof of proof of work leaders to write new blocks while the transaction chain this is another chain uses the hot stuff consensus mechanism to verify the transaction data within those blocks building of uh, bitcoin ng and uh, biscoin bro- protocols biscoin protocols the cyphenium blockchain is optimized for an on-chain scalability and permissionless mineability through hybrid approach of consensus so it's a hybrid approach because of these things this cyphenium blockchain is since optimized they can provide on-chain scalability and permissionless mineability so voting committee will be there and they will be providing the mining so a peek inside how it works a leader node proposes a block so leader node will be proposing a block and wait to be verified by the validating nodes so there will be a leader node and there will be validating nodes behind behind that and validating nodes uh, will be approving this one so leader node will propose a block first then what will happen is if 2 by 3 of the quorum is reached what will happen is the block is accepted into the blockchain yeah then following uh, its acceptance new block is then broadcasted into all nodes next honest verified nodes uh, will then reject all the messages from the nodes without proof of work so without uh, once this acceptance has been done the honest and verified nodes will be uh, nodes will then reject all the messages from pro- uh, nodes which ha- without having pow so these are the things and benefits of what you get is reduced security threats with sophisticated technology in place like a uh, likelihood of uh, cybil and 51% attack becomes nearly impossible faster transaction that is more important by utilizing dual action blockchain dual action blockchain because of this both chains that is a uh, one is election chain one is um, transaction chain the user no longer need to wait on the transaction confirmation no minimum charges for small contract having eliminated price minimums business of all sizes can benefit from using the platform no fixed block size faster more adaptable processing allows the technology to scale so these are the things and uh, about how it works the process of the thing and about if you want to actually this is in the uh, the token is in the private uh, not private sale public sale now it is in the public sale if you want just buy cph now you have to click this one and it will take you to that main uh, page that is sale page sale.info page and you can uh, f- uh, have a, so you can see public token sale decentralized smart this about these things we have discussed already so if you want to join the sale you have to click this it will take you to that page uh, sales page you have, what you have to do is first thing you have to um, create an account using uh, your email id then you have to do kyc kyc verification will be there so you need to upload some uh, documents then they will be verif- uh, they will be having verification after verification you can uh, 
join the public sale so this is about the thing we have been discussed about google and randstrand what they are doing and these are the high highlights they are pro providing intra property solution for china dcp and enterprise blockchain application with randstad on google that is about a decentralized identity hr system and first public and permissionless expression for hot stuff algorithm adopted by facebook's libra in permission to way blockchain advisor of european central bank for the european central bank central bank of netherlands bank of france people's bank of china and federal reserve board and you can see the times are changing the biggest use case of the blockchain will not be the bitcoin but cbdc we know that cbdc market is an 37 trillion dollar market so comparing to cbdc market uh, bitcoin market there is crypto market is uh, cbdc market market is 37 trillion dollar and if you see crypto market is now 0.26 trillion dollars so it's 99% uh, it's uh, cbdc is covering the most and we can see uh, their advantages digital uh, currency interoperability framework dcif tools this is the these are the tools they are providing and features we have been discussed already and uh, cypherium is libra going permissionless you can see scalability this is more important so we we have been having discussion about scalability but you can see the 2500 to 5000 tps transaction per second in testnet but you can see 10000 plus tps in mainnet see you guys fees less than 0.1 usd it's Uh, very much less in compared to ethereum's price sorry gas fees is going on so this is fees is very much less instant finality security and resistance to cyber and 51% attack a base by santine fault tolerant sandbox security isolation decentralization full knock full nakamoto's uh decentralization through proof of work low barrier of uh, low barrier to developer adoption so they are providing both and they are providing proof of work and they are providing this developer adoption so it's easy to work on and mainly about the language what they are uh, mainly about the architecture is cypherium virtual machine there is cvm smart contracts built on the principle of familiarity and necessity so familiarity means um, it's based on the normal programming languages we have jvm architecture that is a java architecture jvm based operating system like android application can be seamlessly integrated with traditional mobile and web apps so it's easy to integrate with the traditional applications like android applications and mobile apps it's easy because they are using jvm architecture most mobile compatible on android os and apple ios multiple programming languages we have they are putting java python ruby r and more so javas are normal programming languages they are providing this one fixed point representation embedded computer chip compatible so it's computer computer chip compatible built in safety checks vm level safe math safety checks are there fast data ship supports 64 bit integer integers so it's huge it's huge guys and uh, this is about cypherium token token to power our innovation that is smart contracts transactions and d apps multi governance and customized protocols application level governance and protocol level governance are there cypherium mobile wallet is also there you can see front end features uh, current features what they are providing is mini program plugin for smart contracts cph management and exchange and uh, future integration will be the basket of digital currencies including cbdcs stable coins and altcoins and bitcoins so they they are going to integrate uh, cbdcs and stable coins into the wallet altcoins and bitcoin and bitcoin explorer blockchain explorer information aggregation tools mobile light mode dual offline payment offline payment also providing right um, sorry double offline prime payment so what are the future objectives of in terms of future objectives they are providing instant ledger this has been we have been discussing the previous uh, window we have been discussing so providing a ledger process to millions of users that is real time transformation of users smart contract platform trustless database sorry trusted database open network to enfranchise participant and contributor secure vault providing data privacy so these are the business teams and these are the advisors development team they are providing everything and this has been covered this project has been covered by these presses and token allocation actually the total supply of the token this is more important we have to discuss actually the total allocation uh, during the mainnet the initial mainnet supply will be 900 million cph and um, total supply that is max supply accrued over 10 10 years that will be 8.4 billion cph so this is about the total supply and they are providing during the mainnet supply they are providing a uh, 900 million cph among that 4% will be going for public sale and uh, round one pre sale has been uh, i think it will, it has been completed already uh, 5% uh, total supply then partners and final final pre sale 2% 
team reserve that is they are having 22% marketing we have 8% operations 12% Treasury for the future use 28% minus 90%. This is how, how they are allocating. So how to participate? I have discussed that one. Now you have to go to the sale. Just uh, after the KOC verification only you can able to participate. That's a major major thing. And roadmap. This is what I was discussing. But it's a new. It's not a new project. It's an old project. It started in 2017. They have been working consistently. And if now they are in the Q4, you can see joint research with leader industry and 2021, what are they going to do is implement parallel processing, adaptive private computing, gen generate more enterprise use cases, form an alliance with central banks, commercial banks, enterprises and key industry play players. So once this happens, it's, the project will be huge. Integration with IoT, smart cities, establish Cypherium Research Institute. So they are also integrating with IoT and smart cities. So they are delivering huge guys. And... Uh, these are their social links and they are active now in twitter they are still active and we have we have been seeing that the partnership is huge google google is there ibm is there and we have chainlink we have amazon web solutions so the partnerships are really huge guys really huge microsoft huge so that's all about this and what they are delivering in terms of cbdc is um, they they are mainly delivering this one uh and if you can see just uh, have a look on this one how they are uh, this is an actually proposal for federal reserve cypherium payment settlement solution about these things and it can usually central bank system of bank a bank will be there federal reserve will be there it will be connected using a cypherium connect cypherium connect a for this bank cypherium connect b for uh, this bank so cypherium connect then it will be going to cypherium validators and after validation it will be given to Federal Reserve, that is the transaction details. And you can see Cypherium Connect, actually what it will do is, before the transaction is initiated, before the transaction initiated, Cypherium Connect will send all the information. Information is like, what are the information is, uh, KYC, risk management, transaction fees, exchange rates, other related information pertaining to payment transaction. For a particular transaction, what are the data we need that will be sent by this Cypherium Connect uh, before the execution of that uh, particular transaction and uh, the information will be sent to counterparty for of the trade another party of the trade as long as all the information can be verified the transaction will be executed then the payment should be clear so cypherium validator is a validation board what it will do is uh, before a transaction enters the federal reserve before entering into the trans federal reserve the transaction blockchain ledger system there is a um, and blockchain ledger system blockchain ledger system is this one and before entering into these two, what uh, this do is validator must approve it. So Cypherium validator will approve it and it, it follows a strict verification mechanism. The validation rules are customized according to the needs and parameters of the given system. So this is, after the strict verification, then only the transaction will be sent to Federal Reserve and this uh, blockchain ledger. So this is all about how they are, this is a proposal of how they, uh, they are going to implement with CBDC central banks. And so that's all for this video uh, we have it's a huge project now it's in public sale uh, public token sale is going on so it uh, has huge potential and what they are delivering in terms of cbdc enterprise applications and also they are providing smart contract platforms it's huge guys really huge and the faster which has uh, 10,000 plus dps so they are providing good things and it's a huge project so let's have a look on this one and uh, how the project, let's see how the project behave in the future. But it has huge potential in terms of what they are delivering. Okay. Hope you would like this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and also subscribe this channel not to support this channel. I will see you guys in another video of Crypto with CryptoMac. Until then, signing off CryptoMac. See you guys. The advent of blockchain technology has brought about a structural reconstruction of business and technology. Blockchain fundamentally and innovatively addresses the numerous drawbacks of traditional transactions. From their insecurities to their inefficiencies, led by projects like Facebook's Libra, the DCEP initiative from People's Bank of China, and many other central banking experiments across Europe and Asia and throughout the globe, this technology is poised to create a truly unprecedented blue ocean market opportunity that expects value in the trillions. In this time of immense change, Cypherium has emerged as one of the most promising blockchains in the DLT space. With years of research and experience, the Cypherium team has built an enterprise-grade smart contract platform, focusing on the seamless integration between enterprise, finance, and mobile applications. 
The platform utilizes cutting-edge technologies with comprehensive coverage over speed, security, scalability, decentralization, and functionality. The Cyperium team consists of former senior engineers from Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Huawei. With extensive experience in cryptography, distributed computing, and software architecture development, our proprietary consensus algorithm boasts full permissionless decentralization, the capability to confirm transactions instantly, achieving over 10,000 transactions per second throughputs. By working with cloud service giants like Microsoft, Google, IBM, AWS, the Cypherium blockchain has achieved numerous advantages for enterprise adoption. We worked with Randstad, the world's largest HR company, and Google Cloud to implement the first decentralized identity human resource system. Our scalable enterprise-grade solution features high throughputs, security, confidentiality, scalability, and interoperability, which satisfies the real demands of enterprises and generates tremendous commercial value. In anticipation of the upcoming digital currency revolution, Cypherium has launched its digital currency interoperability framework to break down the barriers between different types of digital currencies and provide liquidity for the global market. In collaboration with OMFIT, a global think tank concerned with central banking, we took on a leading role in the industry to establish the Digital Monetary Institute and organize several roundtables with major central banks, including the Bank of France, the European Central Bank, and the People's Bank of China. In the near future, not only will we remain true to our original vision and continue to maintain friendly and cooperative relationships with academic and research institutions, but also we will increase our investment in financial technology. Furthermore, we will actively collaborate with public and private enterprises to revolutionize intelligent finance and smart cities by leveraging the synergy of blockchain and Industry 4.0 technologies, including artificial intelligence, big data, 5G, and the Internet of Things. The future is now. Cypherium. Get Cypher. Get a future.